right? So adding up tells me weighted by their shares. So that's the difference. Here's adding up. Here's homogeneity. Okay? Homogeneity is about a given demand equation. That if I change all the prices by the same percentage, no change in consumption. Adding up is saying, as I look across the demand equations, whenever a price changes, all the goods got to change in such a way that weighted by their shares, the total change is zero. But that's just what is required to hold utility constant. So I really got three restrictions that come out. I got this homogeneity restriction. I got my, I'm sorry, homogeneity, symmetry, and adding up. Now what I want you to do is go home and convince yourself that if I know this one and this one automatically gives me this one. And if I know this one and this one, it automatically gives me that one. So symmetry and homogeneity if I, my demand system satisfies that, it'll automatically satisfy adding up. And if it satisfies adding up in symmetry, it'll automatically satisfy homogeneity. So when I'm out there trying to impose restrictions on my demand system, I need to impose only two of these three things. If I impose symmetry and homogeneity, I get this for free. If I impose home adding up in symmetry, I get homogeneity for free. It turns out in the too good case, if I impose this and this, I get symmetry for free. However, unfortunately for us, in more than two goods, these two alone don't do everything. You need one of them needs to be symmetry. That is homogeneity and adding up are not enough once you've gotten beyond two goods. Go home. It's actually not that hard, but go home and convince yourself that you can why that has to be true.